Hey, happy uh, September 1st. 1st. Yes. All right. We're we high. did it. We got the date. All day long. I'm working Feels on good, that. man. I remember that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, week before Labor Day. Um, so we got to take a couple days off Saturday and Monday. And so kind of we get, uh, yeah, I think maybe some pretty cool stuff to do on the ground today. Yeah, I think uh, so. I, I like uh, I like where you want to go on this, which is let's let's keep let's keep cementing in the key on hopo. Mm -hmm. let, let, let's keep this stuff in mind because again, common grabs and attacks uh, especially will help. I know me, my brain likes to go to oh, okay, great, let's work on Coco Pata. Like, <laughs> Calm down, <laughs> and I say okay. Uh, and uh, but but here we are, and then uh, I think that that's what we're going to spend our time doing tonight. Let's maybe. Uh, work on a couple things from stand up, bring yep. them down like usual, but uh, maybe address a couple new techniques for them. Yeah, I think we can keep that same position that we did last week with the arm lock and working out of guard, but let's actually decide to throw uh, Muso Musidori in there and mm -hmm. see how we can work with that, which is just Muso on the grass. So, uh, so nasty. That, that, that's the, there's one little, I think, I think I'll show it tonight. There's one little setup that Hachi showed me a long time back. I'm sure he showed it to you yeah. too. And, uh, and kind of getting in and setting this up. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so tight. It's so dirty. I uh, love it. Let's give it a shot. Sure. Why not? It's. I mean, they're gonna have a whole week to recover. Yeah. Perfect. Sure. All right. Let's do it. All right. Let's Ooh. hit it. Okay. So happy Wednesday, right? So just a reminder. Couple things. One, this will be the only class this week because Saturday and Monday off for the Hong Kong weekend. Okay. And also, too, I know the Sydney has has. Standard version, and then we'll go from there. Show how it gets on the ground. Get a nice video of Matt's ass. So, Mate. Boom, to go up and around him this way. Gravity. 
just won't let me do that. Does that make sense? Okay, one sec, go ahead. This is Pelton standing in on the ground. Uh, if I come Mr. Matt here, uh, one of the things that I notice is that uh, folks are kind of targeting this way out here. And if you look at my come my, my position already, I'm, I'm a little I'm a little out to where I'm not super happy with the way I'm sitting. But my arms all the way here, it has to cross all the way back to here before I can kind of start doing my own, what I want to do. What if the punch, I'm just getting out of the way of it, I have this to kind of help as a, as a defense, but then, it, but then it's right here for me. I don't have to leave it back here defending against the arm and then have to cross all that ground. Especially when they're throwing multiple punches or there's a lot of pressure, you might lose too much time if you're attacking too far this way. You end up here, and right now we know that that's not quite the come on we want. We want more here. So this is going to be stronger for you. Keep going. A couple more reps and we're moving to the So good. Guys, look good. Guys, look good. So, uh, so how do we transition that to this guard position? So very similar to um, the way we looked with the uh, Ura last week, and kind of similar with a couple of adjustments. So he's got this grab, he's holding the shoulder down, and that punch is coming in. Whack. Okay? So I can start off pretty much essentially saying that punch comes in, move, grab, okay. See that knee in there for a little bit of leverage to start. All right, because I'm going to try and keep them away. I don't want to like rush up, just pull and rush back in. I mean, very hard to keep them away from me. Right. So I don't, yeah, I don't want here. It's easy to just jump right up and come here. Right now. You just push right in right now. So, yeah. And now that thing is going right here. Oh, now he's just going to work with it. Again, moving on to the side. Give me that, almost that same exact capture. As I shoot to the other side, I'm going to put this foot on his leg. Now, from here, I'm tight like this. I have no room to really break him. And also, I've lost the hand, similar to what some of you guys are seeing standing up, the hand falls out of the chest. I want to be here. I want this hole. So now I have room to break. Now, if you happen to get away, great. I can just have yeah, his away. I can hold him right here. Still what we require. Break him right here. Just forward. Good. Makes sense. Uh, that's easy. Yeah. God. Stretching out. Keep the arms straight. We got our first position, we're rolling over, and here we are. Notice right now my hips are flat. We shrink to the other side. We get another shrink. Oh my gosh, here we are. Now I have space to break it. I'm seeing some folks getting to here. And this, you'll notice my hips are fairly straight on. And even if I'm perpendicular to so them, this break doesn't work anymore. Now we're going to have to go in other directions, and we don't necessarily want to have to do that yet. <laughs> um, there's a okay. hip flexion, scooping the ice cream, and we're hip flexion in the other direction. Hip flexion. I don't even mean to say these things. Uh, and, then, and then here we are, you've got the break. If you're doing your ice cream scoop and you're straightening out, you will lose this break. Keep going. Okay, so Monte, Monte, 
single time I get to hit Matt in the jaw with my knee. All right? So no matter what happens, no matter the road I take, it all leads to your face. Okay? But do you see what I'm talking about? If my first move's down like this, then my second move needs to get down to that 90. But if I can come out here in the first place, then I kind of don't maybe need a couple of degrees just to adjust. Does that make sense? Second point, this is unlike any of the errors and arm walks where we get into here and shoot. I'm tight with my hips because I'm trying to break the elbow maybe this way. This is not that. This is the opposite because the elbow's turned this way. I need these hips back to create that hold that Mr. Bay was talking about. So this angle of this elbow changes where my body position needs to be. We see it a lot like this. Oh, we see this oh, all the time. Hips on the elbow to break because the elbow is next to the hips. But the elbow's turned out. Well, that doesn't work. That's the way the elbow moves. And I've lost him off my shoulder. This stays, this moves back, this comes forward. Here. And now I have the opportunity to do it. Okay? Those are the two things I'm seeing most people coming up to me. Either they're going too straight back and they're not getting to that 90 and they require a big second move to get to that 90. Or they're staying, they're staying too flat on that arm and they're not crunching up enough. One of the worst ice creams in the world, but it works. Uh, let's be very clear as to why this technique is available right now and why it works. Mr. I'm actually going to be the attacker if I could. Um, the reason why this works is because, one, my arms on an outside position. If I'm doing this here and he tries to do the same technique, it's going to be very, very hard to do. It will require me letting my arms slide all the way up to here, which means that, oh boy, I should probably go train a little bit if I'm, if I'm doing that. Uh, so, for starters, arm is on the outside. Uh, thing number two, I see this, which, which is exactly the commitment Mr. White's talking about. Uh, here's the thing, I can sit back here and, and try to punch him, but considering he's not doing anything to me right now and he's just practicing the technique, I am not necessarily aware that I'm in an awful position. <laughs> this, right now, I have actually made some pretty big mistakes in ground fighting land, which is namely putting my arm and hand uh, way into his territory and leaving my territory way back. This, is, this sort of technique is particularly useful when this is the energy we're dealing with. Something, yeah, there we go. Nice movement, and then he's coming back around. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, you already got it. I can tell. The, uh, that's, that's when this sort of thing is applicable. Different grabs uh, and different setups are going to lead you down different paths, and it's important to be aware of this. It's just, if we're standing up and he's grabbing and he's grabbing my lapel and same punch, and I try to do this same thing, I'm gonna have a hard time. His hands in front of me, it won't work. It's here. Okay, let's talk about which arm goes left. <laughs> Mr. Cheever, uh, can I get back on you for a second? Let's talk about which arm goes left. I guess I've, I've seen this a little bit, kind of looking around, and I think it would be good to, uh, to make sure we're covering this. Uh, yes, you can use your left arm to help you pull to help you pull this over, but if you're relying on the left arm to help you pull this over, you're actually going to have a bit of a hard time. I have a challenge for you guys. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you, when you start this, to grab with your right hand. We're not going to use our left hand to pull the arm over. This is going to force you to use your hips and body in a way that's effective. So that punch is coming through, we're shifting off, here we are. From here, 
left arm, it's not going to be reaching over. I'm, the reason why I say it is because I see people reaching over and trying to break like this. And that's actually not the break. This is the break. We're reversing rolls. Here we are. Oh. Now what happens is if you're holding this, he's holding your shoulder. If he's holding me and I'm holding him and I move, does he move? Yes. Ah, hell yeah. Uh, we, we, you don't, uh, the, I don't want to say don't use this arm. But I don't want you to use this arm if it's leaving you in this position trying to break him with, with the wrong hand. He's going to fight right back against us. Yeah, ex exactly. Now I'm like, oh, oh crap. Now I'm kind of, yeah, exactly. Now we're in like all kinds of like awful trouble. I don't really like this. So now we're going to have to do all sorts of different things. And that's no fun. Uh, grabbing with the side of this grab. Rolling with your hips. Scooping your hips back underneath and rolling, and let your body movement line this up for you. Then we'll bring back your hand. Then I'll give you your limb back. <laughs> so, Monte, oh, just, just to let you know, to associate this with a stand up. Eric, are you going to be your number? We put these booster doors before we're done here, and I said, just punch him in the face. And that's essentially what you do on this vision. This shoulder moves forward, he has to move forward. That's it. Alright, that's the stand up a foot one. Okay, I think you guys have seen that before. Good. Alright guys, we're moving on. We're gonna we're gonna tackle this again next week. We're gonna we're, we're gonna jump into this next week. Let's uh let's set them up and break their shoulder from guard. But first we'll do it standing. So I'll grab Mr. Cheever here. Uh so right now uh we're gonna look at maybe uh Musado. Uh but here's the attack. We got we got kind of just this two-handed grab sort of thing. And we have two hands on the inside. Now, a nice thing to do is to get them to think you're doing one thing when you actually kind of do another. It's pretty great. Uh, <laughs> so that's, all right. So from here, I'm going to step. Imagine we were just kind of doing this technique where we, you guys have seen this version of Musa You've seen it. Unfortunately, so has he. So as I go to step, he starts fighting against my wolf but he left that arm available for us. And there's our break. So you can see Mr. Adam, we're back in frame, we're back in frame, very good. So we're shifting here. He starts to try to do that, whoa, this comes through. This is where all your, your little nasties can come in. Does anybody need to feel that or see them? Feel it? All right. So other side, here we are. Oh, no, no, you're fine, you're fine. I'm shooting for Musadori on this side. He goes to maybe rotate or try, or try to fight against the perspective. We're taking the other side. Again, this is just, here's the problem. Oh my god, I start to focus on that, but the problem was here the whole time. And it's a really cool submission on the ground when we get there. Smoke mirrors. Just for funsies. Just, just for extra funsies. Uh, questions? You guys remember this, right? All right, couple minutes standing up. Refresh. Mate! Mate, you guys are doing good on this. So let's look at this on the ground. I'm gonna tell you, this on the ground just sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't think of, I mean, not up to like same old level sucks, but pretty goddamn close. <laughs> okay. Eric! <Error. sighs> Come here, buddy. Okay, Eric. Thank you. Uh, so, so. We're here. Again, same concept. It looks like I'm going to be over here attacking this but as I do that, I'm going to cut this one up. Here's where it gets gnarly. You don't have to go far on this. You really don't. But if you do, yeah. <laughs> this is a ton of pressure. Know where my hand is on my pack? This is just not fun. He doesn't have anywhere to go. And obviously that would be a very tiny thing. You come this way, you hold it. We're here. I mean, if you imagine this, ah, this kind of struggle. Oh no! Doesn't matter. If you fall down a leg, it 
doesn't act just because of this, because really the backside, in fact, that's not. Let's start meditating. Meditating. Aaron, other Aaron? So you can see. Hi. Is the same. This. Over here. Oh, God. Why are you doing this to me? Is that right? Oh, yeah. And that would be done with every ounce of a like, bad day that I've had. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, it's from here to here. Because now, not only is it your arm right, we actually have all your body weight falling onto that shoulder too, at the same time. So please be very careful. This is a very, very easy way to mess somebody's shoulder up. Very, very easy way. All right? Right, how about... Uh, one group for free. Mate, Mr. White is actually onto something with this that is very important. Uh, so, Mr. Uh, we're creating space for this elbow to go. When we're standing up, we kind of have that vertical plane on which we can operate that gives us a little extra freedom of movement that we don't really have with this. So, for some reason, again, my arms are on the inside. At, my first movement is not this where I'm just nakedly attacking the arm from my back. In fact, you might be legitimately trying to attack this arm, but notice we are on our side already. What that provides is that provides this hole right here. This is gonna be the path around which his elbow travels. This is where it's gonna go. If I'm on my back, his elbow can't go that way. My body is in the way. So, here we go. Now me, I really like it. Pulling the brain in, getting it nice and tight, compressing it. You can go to your side and kick it, uh, or kick out the leg. You can let them straighten the arm and then break it with a straight arm bar. Oh, it's delicious. There's so many ways this can go. Uh, but if you're not using your body movement and angles to set, imagine, if you're not using your body angles and movement to set this up, it won't work. Imagine trying to do this. Ha <laughs> ha! We all know that's fantasy land, right? Oof. Oh, not so much. Does everybody see what I'm talking about? And the other thing that happens too, so if this is in that sitting up again, and he didn't fully reach over, say this is one side, this is what they store that. I didn't fully reach over. He didn't get his elbow past Adam's elbow to try to do this. It would make it very difficult. So he's trying to do it from there. It would be hard. He's just trying to do it on that arm. Yeah, if I'm trying to do it on this arm, yeah. It's very hard, right? Yeah. So when he's on the ground, not only does it A, create the hole, but it actually pushes his arm through enough to actually be able to get on there. So it's actually accomplishing two things at the same time. You can't possibly do it like this. You have to go over to your elbows, over their elbow to be able to do the technique of this. When you've done Musidori in the past, thank you, sir. When you've done Musidori in the past, how many times have you seen it done like this? Not very many times. You typically see something like this where it's closer to you, you have a bit more arm and a bit more control over what's going on, it's the same thing on the ground. No, nothing changes about that because the structure of their shoulder and the muscles in their rotator cuff haven't changed. Right, and so because of that, shoot through, because of that, how that elbow has to go past, if I'm here, I can't do it. My elbow is not past his elbow from Musa door. I can't get it. And I, and I haven't even created a hole for him to go into. So I'm kind of doubly screwed on this. But when I turn to my side, oh. Now we're kind of Maybe we can take it. Okay. So not only A, does it create the hole, but actually get your arm in position to be able to do the technique. So there's two things, so really emphasize that shrimp to that left side. Or whatever side you're doing for the capture. Okay? Go ahead. So, Mate, so let's look at a. Let's go out here. Adam, I've already referred to this. So, let's just put out your arm. Just, Adam's arm is, is here. Okay? And I want his elbow to go through. It goes to about there before his back, before it gets kind of stuck. Right? If I push his hand in, he can go further. All right, and it's very apparent. Well, actually, it's kind of not apparent. We're standing up. He 
because we're moving so much. I'm just gonna that. I'm not going here and then just pulling the arm through. I'm actually rotating, which is actually pushing his hand in, letting his elbow come through, right? So we all see that relationship. This angle here has a relationship to how much that elbow can move. I think you can all see that onto yourself. Now when it's on the ground, we don't think about it as much. We can hear and uh, all about the elbow. The problem is this elbow's in that stuck position. And I try to open it through, but it's kind of stuck. So if I can adjust the stand closer to a body move, we'll hold it down, we'll go a little further. And even here, one, two. That's a different level thing, isn't it? This, eh, not wonderful. This, oh. So I can actually adjust and get more purchase if I actually put his hand a smidgen closer to his body. So if I lean in on this, I can actually reacquire it actually roll, open it back up a little bit more and watch his eyes roll back in his head. So basically what I'm saying is as you guys are down here, you all right? Yeah. As, as you guys are down here, you're finding yourself in a position and you're fighting like, I, I don't have it, ah, I'm stuck. Don't think about just putting more on the elbow. Think about putting his hand close to his body. And now I can back and do more. Now I can get the position of the deeper because I have this aspect that actually either takes away or gives him more elbow flexion. Does that make sense? So again, as you're going through this, you find yourself stuck. Don't concentrate on pushing the elbow more. Concentrate on actually taking his this angle and shortening up and letting his elbow naturally release into it deeper. Okay. Kind of high level, kind of advanced, but you guys are pretty good. And you find that stuck position, like how do I wiggle around it? You wiggle around it by doing it. Okay? Make sense? Right. So was I right? Does that one suck or what? It's, it's a nasty, nasty way. Gnarly, gnarly. Um, the Dory. Um, you guys are actually doing actually really well. That's actually hard to get into. Um, usually we have to spend about an hour on just like make the hole. The people just keep constantly pulling it to the side. You guys weren't really having that problem for the most part. I didn't point out, but it wasn't a systemic issue. Um, yeah, so you move it was, was good and you kept each other safe, which I'm happy about. Um, questions, thoughts? I noticed the small little angles of adjustment for the fit and pressure. Uh, you know, it's like the similar techniques on the not ground techniques and techniques on the ground, like you said, but it's like these really minor adjustments that are just be able to I'm just learning to know when and how to make them happen. There's a relationship between the hand and the shoulder being here and the elbow being here and how you rotate. I mean when you rotate your arm and elbow come when your elbow comes forward, your hand naturally comes in. The problem is, is I'm making you do that. So I have to adjust to that as we go through or know that that's going on. So it's not a simpler, you know, X, Y, Y, Z kind of thing. This is a circular movement in here. That's it. You're operating in three dimensions, four if you want to count time. Yep. So, so uh, a difference in one vector changes the difference in the others. It's all experience. Well, I'm not. What are you doing? Are you literally what sitting on this? this? What is this strange position? <laughs> yes, I know. Everyone loves you. They're not good. Yeah, so, so, uh, so obviously we're off Saturday. And Monday. It, yeah, and, uh, and Monday. We're going to uh, we're gonna, uh, take a look at this again next week. If there's, uh, I'd like to throw this out too. If anyone has anything else from the Keon Hoppo that uh, they feel like they want to make sure we get a chance to look at on the ground, uh, you know, bring that in, let us know. I feel like we've, we've covered our wrist locks, we've covered our shoulder locks, uh, we've covered Muso, Musadori, uh, you know, Oni, Uda, Hongi, uh, Hongiaku. Uh, I feel like we might be missing Gansaki. Gansaki, but I mean, you do have pros. I mean, yeah. you know, the ground version of a pro. You know, how you pull somebody in and scissor them over and get on top. You know, I think you guys can probably see that. Um, but we haven't really looked at that. You know, but I think we can almost like a tie a coach on the ground. Um, Probably look at that, and then um, I think too we can actually like, start looking at some different positions. Like, look at these. The guy touched on these for side control. Yeah, I can look at these for side control and stuff like that.
that, but we also have um, you know regular straight, just good old arm bars, you know, that we can look at too. So, um, but yeah, if there's anyone specific, like curious, like, well, how would you do a a multi like your in part? You know, how would you do that? How would you look at that? How would you, how would you think about that? How does that work? So we can look at that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, once once we have once we have that that stuff kind of nailed, it we'll toss some more submissions. Trying to build like a nice structure that you can kind of reference and then you can go back to the things that are only really the really germane crap. Yeah, and um, but yeah, you guys have a great weekend. Be safe. Um, good job. Very nice. Very nice.